Guys, we're out here in the city of Anaheim Hills at a hidden location, very hard to find. But when you find it, you're going to be glad that you did. 30 years ago, this family decided to get into the catering business and it went beautifully. Fast forward to 11 years ago, they opened up a restaurant next door called Tiscareño's Mexican Bistro and Deli. And the food they're serving up here for lunch only is amazing. And only the few that know about it get to enjoy it. And so I'm gonna take you on this journey today to see what they're cooking up. And on the real estate front, we're gonna be talking about how do you time the market so that you could sell and get the highest price. Let's go. The FDR Show is all about showing you amazing food, delicious drinks, and giving you the best real estate advice to get what you want with your home. As a busy realtor with over 20 years of experience, I'm out and about experiencing food and helping families with their home. Join me as we cruise around visiting the best spots and talk and shop. Come for the food and drinks and stay for the real estate. Welcome to the FDR Show. So we ordered two tacos. First off, presentation's beautiful. I love these trays as they come out, and at the same time, they give you the authentic feel with the, uh, with the clay uh, Mexican dishes here. Beautiful from an aesthetic standpoint. They got a bunch of chilies to choose from, an avocado, they got the red salsa, and then they had the green salsa. For my tacos, I really wanted to throw down the avocado and the red salsa. Here's what's neat. You could do street tacos, which traditionally are your corn tortillas, and they do it, you know, two tortillas, which is nice. Little pro tip, they give you enough meat, you can make two tacos out of the one. Okay, they probably don't want you to know that, but that's that's a little pro tip. And then I got the crunchy hard shell carnitas as well. Here's what I love about the crunchy hard shell. This isn't store-bought. They're making their crunchy tacos in the back with their corn tortillas. People claim to have the crisp, you know, fresh made, crispy, this and that. Some say that, but they don't follow through. They're doing that here, and that's a beautiful thing. So we're gonna start with our street taco first. I'm gonna load it up with a little bit of the avocado salsa. Of course, you gotta have some lime sprinkled on that bad boy right there. Mm -mm -mm. I always judge a place by the carnitas because I'm a big fan of carnitas. <laughs> oh my, that is so delicious. The tortilla is warm. It's got a nice little char, so that means they left it on the griddle a little bit longer, which I prefer. The carnitas are nice and tasty and they're nice and tender, which for most lunch place taco spots, you don't really get that when it comes to carnitas. Everything is like fast paced. Here though, this is top quality stuff. I want to try the crunchy taco, and I'm going to put the red sauce on this one. It was just as good, if not better, than the street taco. Carnitas, same level, but the crunchy factor, oh my word. Okay, when you get here, order some crunchy tacos. Try those first, because you can get street tacos anywhere. But crunchy tacos like this, those are hard to come by. Let's see what's next on the menu. I'm so excited about this food because they brought out some of my favorite dishes. The torta, that by far is one of my favorite lunchtime and evening time munches. If you're not familiar with tortas, it can be a bolillo or a nice Kaiser roll. It's got beans, meat, onions, avocado sometimes, tomato, toast the buns, and then they put all those ingredients inside and it is just a mouthwatering taste of happiness. You've got the enchilada plate. I love the presentation of it all. They give you a little bit of sour cream to put over. You've got red rice. You've got pinto beans here. They made these fresh, which is really nice. And you've got some veggies in there. This way the wife won't get mad at me too much. I got my veggies in for my meal, right? And then of course you have the tacos. Everything here is just delicious. I'm gonna jump right into the torta because as I said, this is my favorite one. It's piping hot when it comes out. So that's a plus. Mmm, this is so soft and yummy. The beans and the carne asada blend in beautifully. I taste grilled onions, which is delicious. I got lettuce, I got tomatoes. It's like a sandwich, almost like a steak sandwich. You gotta put salsa on it. So I'm gonna do the red salsa and I'm gonna put some avocado salsa because I'm greedy like that. Here we go. Mmm, that is so delicious. The yum factor on this is like a 9.5 out of 10. This is dangerous. I could probably have about four or five of these and still be smiling waiting for my enchilada plate. Here's what's cool. For lunch, you can order a couple of these, split them in two. I mean, look how big these halves are. If you don't want to eat the whole thing, you eat half and take the rest home. Or if there's two of you, you can split it. It's got the perfect combination for that. Now let's jump over to our enchiladas. So enchilada time. I like to cut mine right at the ends because typically with the enchiladas, if they do them the way I like them, the ends got this little crispiness to them. You still get the inside. I'm going to try just as it is. Cheese inside. That's so good. The cheese is blended beautifully. The sauce from the enchilada on the tortilla is not too overpowering. You can do a combo. 
with the pinto beans, that is really good. Red rice on point. A lot of people tend to be a little afraid of red enchiladas because of the, the red sauce, thinking maybe too much on the acid or heartburn. It's not overpowering here. It's actually a nice blend of sauce. And with the chips they give you and these beans, it is just crunch city, delicious. Now, of course, got to put some sauce on it. Spice it up a little bit more. I'm gonna do some of that. I'm gonna do a little bit of the sour cream and then we'll put some veggies on there. So I can tell my wife I eat healthy and she won't give me any shit. Just kidding, babe, I love you. Here we go. It's like a whole new plate though. Completely different item. Once you add the sour cream, the chili, the enchilada takes on a whole new vibe. I love it. You can't go to a Mexican restaurant, order all this delicious food and not pair it up with a nice classic Mexican Coke. And it just adds to the whole taste experience here. So let's talk geography. They're literally on the outskirts here in Anaheim Hills, but they're connected to Yorba Linda, Anaheim Hills, Placentia. It's really interesting. They're just south of uh, Esperanza High School, right where Kellogg and Orange Thorpe are at. It looks like a hole in the wall because it is, but usually when you get to hole in the walls, it is well worth it. And this Carreños is definitely worth making the time to come here and grab some lunch. They're open from 10 to 5 p.m., but it's lunch only make sure you come and check them out. Also give them a follow. Now, their catering company is what they're really known for, but they've been 11 years here with this restaurant. Follow them on Instagram, come try their food out. If you're local, come grab some lunch. The coolest thing about them is they'll take phone orders too. Make it a point and check this spot out. You'll be happy that you did. Now let's talk real estate. The big question I'm being asked today from home sellers is, am I selling my home too soon? Should I wait to see if the market you know, keeps going up. And that's such a loaded question because if you're simply timing the marketplace from a standpoint of trying to get rich, that's a real hard line to, to draw for yourself because there's so many factors with real estate. There's so many you know, ups and downs, so to speak, and the market's always fluid. But if you have a goal and a purpose, you need to get somewhere, it's a relocation, uh, for a job, for a house, for school. Uh, you know, your time has come in the home that you're at. If there's a certain need, you gotta move forward with what's going on in the marketplace right now. And the goal shouldn't be, you know, how do I know if I'm making the most money if it's the right time? The goal should be when you're talking with your real estate professional, do me a favor. Don't go with the first one you meet with. Don't go with the first one that was referred. Meet with three and see for yourself what they say their advice or recommendations are. One, to the market, two, for the price, and three, for the strategy that they're gonna bring. Now, if everyone is saying, you know, the same thing in terms of a lower price, well, that could tell you, market's kind of going in a direction you don't want it to. If there's some saying these incredible crazy prices, well, that could be the direction you want to go into. So it's such a loaded question that you really have to look at what makes the most sense for you and your family at that point in time. 24 years of helping people do something very simple with their real estate. We'd love to help you. And if it's your time, give us a ring and we can go over the, that information with you and see if it is a good time to get your home sold for you. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed this show and you wanna see more great foodie spots and learn some tips about real estate, hit the subscribe button below, smash that bell, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.